It's the AL Central taking on the East. We'll see the Detroit Tigers facing the New York Yankees. And it's on 2K Sports. American League Baseball coming up. The Yankees at home. I'm Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Kroc, our analysts, and we are ready to go. 2K Sports MLB. A great afternoon for baseball. The new Yankee Stadium is our site. Now the Yankees starting pitcher. Steve, what do you think the strategy is going to be against this Detroit powerhouse? Well, pitching's the key to win any ball game, and with their quality right-hander on the mound today, that's going to be a key as well against this outstanding lineup. He's going to have to execute his pitches to get the outs. Well, let's take a look at the lineup for the Tigers. Well, contact is the name of the game for this lineup. These guys go up there looking to swing the bat and make contact and put the ball in play and challenge the defense. Cobb has a turn in the box. Ball game, a loser for the Tigers yesterday. Chance here to at least prevent the three-game sweep. They hope to go one and two against the Yankees. Well, this team is just going to have to start making a little bit of adjustments. First two games are 0-2. These guys should have come out of spring training firing on all cylinders. He delivers. Ball Missed one. badly with a the fastball there, 1-1. One and one. And you can bet they're hungry even though it's early to get that first win. Yeah, it definitely is, and that's the thing. You don't want to extend this thing to three games lo losing streak. You want to take care of business and get it done early. Blow it outside. Two balls, one strike. Two one on the way. Strike That's two. called for a strike. It'll even the count at two and two. The key for any pitcher is establishing the four seam fastball. Once you get that working, it gives you so many different options. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. The 3-2 pitch. He fouls that one off. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And with that pitch, he allows that leadoff runner on, free pass. Boy, how many times have we seen the leadoff walk come around to score? A lot. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat, but the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. And Crawford's in the box. No one out and a runner on first. Here's the delivery, and he squares around, gets down the butt, Out. and there's one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. You want to get runners in scoring position, and sometimes you have to lay the ball down and get them advanced. That's what he did right there. And if this runner scores, we'll go back and take a look at what just happened and say thank you very much. Good team baseball right there. One out with a runner at second. Fastball in there, 0-1. Well, that's a pitch a lot of guys can do some damage on, but unfortunately, the pitcher gets the strike, the hitter couldn't swing the bat. Oh. Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. Checks him at second. Good looking fastball. Called the ball though, two and one. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Here's the two one. Swing and a line at a right center. And that one's going to drop in. That'll be our first hit of the game. A run scores. Good pitch down low, Steve, but a better at bat. Well, he did a real nice job going down in the swing to get that low ball to be able to pick up the hit. Yeah. 
Here's a look at how the Yankees will match up defensively. John, uh, scouting anyone here? Well, the leader of the team, and that's Derek Jeter. You'll see him not only make the routine play, turn a double play when it needs to be turned, but he's also the guy that will go in and talk to the pitcher to settle him down to get the out that they need. Hit it to Jeter, he'll make the play. Man on second, one away. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. Now it's two down. And here's what's happening this Tuesday. We'll be out in Kansas City, home of the Royals. And the Chicago White Sox roll into town. Start time is 8 o'clock Eastern. I okay, that's going to be a great matchup, and everybody's going to want to tune into that one. I'm looking forward to it. In the box now, number five spot. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Here's the pitch. Ball. That curve is just a little bit outside. One ball, no strikes. Spins, checks him at second. And he's easily back to the bag. He watches that fastball. It'll even up the count at 101. Hitters have to have great balance and be prepared for the pitch away. If you open up even a little bit, you can't catch up to that four-seam fastball in the outside corner. Right Swings down. at that 1-1 one -one pitch. Fastball by him. Strike two. The 1-2 on its way. That pitch misses low. 2-2 two and two now. Swung on, line to right field. And that one's put away to retire the side. Early pressure being put on, a run over in the first. The Tigers lead it one to nothing. Let's take a look at the starting pitcher we've got for Detroit. Steve, what do you think his strategy is going to be against this Yankees lineup? A good-looking lefty on the mound right here against a lineup that can put some runs up on the board. So pretty even matchup. So it's going to come down to which side executes better than the other. Oftentimes we say good pitching can beat good hitting. one on the way. Lost the grip to that changeup, and it's 2-0. and He's hitting 333 lifetime off Detroit. Swung on line to right center field. And the leadoff fans on board. You love the offense when it gets going that way. Now well, here's the uh, lineup in the books for Joe Girardi. John, who do we keep an eye on? Well, a lot of times you watch Derek Jeter play, and you, and you don't see that real exciting wow-type player. But what he does by the end of the season, the numbers are always consistent. And what he does, though, better than anyone in baseball is he does the little things that help your team win. The fundamentals are key with Derek Jeter. Now we'll take a quick look at the Tigers and how they're out there positionally on defense. As you look at this club defensively, it's, it's a team that struggles and ranked in the bottom five in the American League. And that really does impact their ability to win ball games. They just give the opposition too many extra base runners, too many extra bases, and too many extra outs. Jeter's on at first. He deals. Hit hard to second. The second for one. And the deuce, a double play. Nice play, especially on the relay to first. 4-6-3. Uh, that's textbook right there. Taylor made double play. Hit it where they are and turn it. 
State Farm leaderboard. Uh, look at the teams with the most runs produced from last year's season. The Yankees, number one. The Red Sox, second. Third, the Rays. Rangers, fourth. And we've got the Twins, who are number five. But when this team steps on the field, it's like a track meet. It seems like every one of these guys wants that ability to hit home plate. Seems like almost every game. They led the league last year in runs scored, and this is a team that has so much team speed and power. That that's why they are so successful at plating runs. Just a bit too aggressive. That strike's going to hold up. Lined up the middle. That'll do it as they put that one away. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. Detroit still ahead. A crisp day here at the ball yard. Temperatures might be dropping a bit later on towards the evening. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. A fastball up in the zone like that, a pitch a lot of guys like to hit. He just couldn't swing the bat. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. One well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. Swing and lined up the middle. That one gets through for a base hit. Let's take a look to last season. Check out the American League rankings and where the Detroit Tigers fell. Third in triples, fourth in doubles, and this offense showed up in the top five in the league in batting average, really pointing to the depth and quality of their hitters. A very deep lineup with quality at bats. And Trammell's batting. Well, you've got the lead right now with speed on first base. You have to get him going, I think, Gary. Keep the pressure on. Keep oh. trying to tack on some runs. Just that bat underway. 1-0 after that first pitch missed. The 1-0 pitch. He swings and nails a liner. Here's a prime production opportunity for the Tigers. A perfect situational hitting. This is exactly the time you want to go the other way. And what we're talking about is taking the ball where it's pitched. It's outside. Go the other way. Kell in the box. When you have the lead, it's not the time to play it safe. You've got to go after him a little bit. You can risk giving up an out to get a run. I may start the runner here. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. As he retreats back, runner on his way to third. Well, they're down already early in this game. They can't afford a big inning against them. That's a big first out. Now let's see what else he can do. And Parrish settles in. Two men on, one out. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. Here it comes. Oh, Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. Comes set, now the 1-1. One, one. Good rip at that one, but he misses 1-2. and two. One, two pitch coming. And the pitch out, nothing doing that time. Here's the pitch. This is pop foul to the right side, but playable. Two men have been put away. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Yankees. The series with Detroit concluding today. Their homestand continues with another team, the Minnesota Twins.
That series is four games. And they'll be taking on the Red Sox in that bat of David Ortiz. Great series there. Cobb is up now. Last time he walked and then came around to score. Runners at first and third with two away. Well, he's running, taking off for second. The throw gets in there in time. He is safe at third. Pitch on the way. What Missed one. with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. Oh, one one pitch, fastball. That's going to be low. Two and one. Fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call though, and it's three and one. Well, this is your dream when you're in the on deck circle before you go into the batter's box. If you can get the count to three and one and in your favor, you know you have the upper hand. Hit in the air to center field. That'll do it as they put that one away. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. And the Yankees, it'll be their turn coming up. Big Bats ready to make an appearance. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Ball! First pitch way out of the zone, ball one. Here's the 1-0. He sends this one in the air towards center. One away now. Let's take a chance now to look at the Yankee season last year and how they ranked in the American League. First in runs, third in triples, and the power number certainly there as they were ranked third in the league in home runs, really pointing to the depth of the power in that lineup. Mantle gets a turn here. Base is empty, one out. Just missed with the fastball, one and out. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside, and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch, though. Low for a ball, and it's two and out. Looks at that fastball, called strike, two and one. Here he comes, two one pitch. That's off the plate and high, three and one. Well, you watch how the hitter reacted to that. He had thoughts about chasing that pitch, but at the last second decided to lay off of it. Here's the pitch. He lets that fastball go by. Call strike three and two. He let that four seam fastball go up and in in the zone. It's up in his eyes. You can see it well. He just couldn't pull the trigger. Payoff pitch coming. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. Crawford's there. Runs over, puts it away. Detroit's still early in the season. A look at their schedule. Today is the last game of this New York series.
and it's a road trip to take on the Orioles and uh, fan favorite there Brian Roberts Boy, there's some great competition in that set of games that'll be a three game series then they look to defy the odds at home against a formidable opponent the Kansas City Royals Maris settling in Base is empty with two outs. Right he chases that one high, starts out with a strike. He had a little extra giddy up on that one as he just blows it right by him. Runs up to bunt, gets this one down. Newhauser. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. That's good baseball right there. He read the infielders and got it down and deadened the ball just like he needed to to beat it out. Now we've got a bona fide base dealer at first base, the kind of guy that can steal second when everybody knows he might be going. They're going to have to keep him close. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch was a strike. You saw their last game. You saw what a big part of their offense he was contributing with three base hits. Swing and a miss at that fastball. No balls, two strikes. The pitch popped up. Should be playable behind the plate. And a look at that one, but can't come up with it. Oh, there he goes for second. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. The Yankees unable to get on the board. Two hole to get things started next. And Crawford's in the box. Last time through, he had a sacrifice bunt. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect 0-1. The best pitch in baseball is the fastball down and away. And if you can execute it, you can be very effective. That's why he got the swing and the miss. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung on. Can't make contact. And behind on the count 0-2. Here's the pitch. Ball. And he lays off that one high and away, one and two. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. The one-two pitch. Ball. And he takes the ball inside, two and two. Fastball in there, called third strike, one out. Well, that's paint in the black right there. He just throws it to the outside corner exactly where they wanted to get the punch out. Now look at the teams who led the league at extra base hits last year, brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Blue Jays. The Red Sox second. In third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Twins. And at number five on the list, the Rays. Well, anytime you have a whole team of guys who can hit for extra bases, it makes the defense spread out so much, and it gives you room to do other things. This team is great at it, one of the best in the league last year, just hitting the balls in gaps, hitting the ball over the wall, and that's why they score so many runs, because they're always in scoring position. Second pitch, waves at the fastball, and suddenly it's strike two. Tough spot for the hitter right here. Down 0-2. You got to fall off that tough pitch if you have to. Fastball got him two down. Here's the four-seam fastball coming at you in K-Cam. Get a better look. Two straight fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with it. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. 
And in the batter's box, it's K-Line. He flew out his last time up. Base is empty and two down. Here's the first pitch. Ball. That one's going to be outside. Ball one. Well, any hitting coach will tell you, you can't hit that good high fastball, especially if it's out of the strike zone. It's a pitch you have to lay off of, making bring it down to give yourself a chance. Now the 1-0 pitch. There's a swing and a line drive. And there's Gordon for the third out. No hits, nobody left on. And a good defensive half inning. Tigers won, the Yankees nothing. We'll get a look at that leadoff hitter due up here in the inning. And in the batter's box, it's Gordon. He'll get us going here in the home half of the third. Ball. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. This is below the knees. Ball two. Line towards second. Number two. That's one away. And we're going to see Boggs here. Base is empty with one away. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner to left. The catch is made, and that's out number two. Derek Jeter's at the plate with two down. First pitch to Jeter. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four-seamer down and away. Keeps it down that time, 0-2. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. Oh, oh tough one to lay off right there, that fastball, 1-2. and two. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Oh. And Jeter watches that one go by. The count is even. One's going to be down low, three and two. Flat fastball right there, just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. Three, two on the way. Oh. That's hit foul by Jeter.
And here's the 3 2. Ball four. That misses ball four. The potential tying run on base. Well, the hardest thing to do when you have an at bat that lasts this long is sometimes you have a tendency to be impatient and chase one. Give the hitter a lot of credit. It was a close pitch, but he laid off of it to earn that walk. And it's DiMaggio batting. Well, two outs in the inning, you put the tying run on base with the base on balls. Not what you want to do because that also means the guy at the plate is the go-ahead run. Big mistake. A runner on first with two outs. First pitch, here it comes. Pitch out. Nothing doing, though. Ready with a 1-0. 1-0 right. delivery is a fastball in there. 1-1. And, Steve, what he's got to do now, you want to get this final out right here. Oh, you've got to be very careful right here. You know, you don't want to say, hey, I walked again. Let me throw one right over the plate and get ahead because the hitter was sitting on a pitch down the middle. There's a swing and a liner. And that one's put away to retire the side. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. Detroit still ahead. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. That should be a base hit. Now let's see how the top hitting teams measured up last season, courtesy of State Farm. The Rangers number one, the Royals in second, the Twins third, the Tigers fourth, and it's the Red Sox number five. One of the top hitting teams in baseball last year will be on display in this game today. And these guys, when they step out of the dugout, they're swinging the bats. These guys can put the ball in play, and they all hit for a high average. The runner on first, no outs. The pitch up the middle. And that one is in there, his second hit today. Fantastic chance here. Well, real solid approach, trying to work gap to gap up the middle of the field. Gets a fastball on the outer third of the plate, but able to stay on it and get himself a base hit to center. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. And the first pitch, fastball misses away, 1-0. Oh. At the belt, the 1-0. Oh. Now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Good looking fastball. Call the ball though, two and one. Well, you want to keep an eye on the runner right here. Two and one count. They're not likely to pitch out. If the runner gets put in motion. You might see a hit and run right here. Swung on, lined over the first baseman's head. And another hit back to back. And he's in there. What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence, giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. Kell, up at the plate. Just one player picking up after another, Steve. This is, this is a good offensive show going on, and they're climbing the ladder with it. Uh, Gary, we just saw quality at bat right there. He got the job done. When he got his pitch, he knew what to do with it, and he delivered no outs in the corners are covered. And here's the pitch. Watches that one up there. Called strike one. As Ralph Kiner, our old buddy, used to say, you know, good at bats is one where you get production. And that's what they got right there. Yeah, but he's also the guy who said you can't win the game unless you take the lead. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. That's down. Runner could come home. Well, they need a big out right here, Gary. I mean, they're giving up some runs in this inning. They need to get outs right now just, to, again, to show that they can get them. And Parrish settles in. 
Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Uh, that last hit puts a little bit more daylight in this lead right now, Gary. They keep tacking on early. Runners at the corners with no one out. Now the first pitch. Ball. Low for ball one. Not a comfortable lead yet, but it's uh, an early statement. Well, it's a statement that says, you know what? We're going to score some runs for our, our guy and putting pressure on the opposition's offense. He lets the 1-0 pitch go by, 1-1. That's a good four-seam fastball. You establish the bottom part of the zone, then you run the heater up in the zone. A lot of time, it becomes a take pitch. Swung on, hit sharply to first. That's one. And they get it. They turn two. A beautiful-looking double play right there. A pitcher's best friend. And that shortens the inning, shortens the number of pitches that have to be thrown. It's all about defense. Cobb at the plate flew out last time. Two outs and a runner on third. First pitch on the way. Ball. First pitch fastball misses badly that time. One and oh. And he takes a strike on that fastball. 1-1. One, one. He looked like he was ready to swing that time at the plate, Gary, but he must have been looking for a different pitch as that fastball just paints the outside corner. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. And that's taken outside for a ball, two, one strike count. Called strike right down the center, even things at two. Well, the hitter's got to regret that one. He missed his pitch right down the heart of the plate. Four-seam fastball. That hurts. Good wood. Hits it right back up through the pitcher. Throws to first in time. That's three down. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. Tigers with a three-run lead. Ruth is the batter now. 0 for 1 thus far. On the way. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And that's a base hit. Gets down in front of him. State Farm takes a look at the lineups with a pop in their bat from last season. Number one, the Blue Jays. The Red Sox second. In third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Twins. And at number five on the list, the White Sox. Well, slugging percentage plays a key part in any team's offense and this team was one of the best in the league last year at doing that they seem to hit for extra bases you know everyone says well they get on second base a lot they score runs but also they drive in a ton of runs with all those extra base hits that they get that's why their slugging percentage is so high and why they're so successful Pauses, and now the 1-0. One. Second pitch, waves at a fastball, strike one. Look, Gary, the way this is going so far in the fourth, I mean, they do have three hits. Uh, so they've had a couple of base runners, but I think that because they're not mounting hit after hit, they may have to put some plays on to get the runners moving. And here's the delivery. Fastball swung out and missed, struck him out, one away. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. Mantle batting now. A terrific talent here for this team. One down, runner at first. First pitch to him. Fastball just misses. 1-0.
1-0 now. Low for a ball, 2-0. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Swings and misses at that fastball. Now it's 2-1. He's ready now, the 2-1. 2-1 delivery of fastball, swung on, strike two. Ball. Fastball well off the mark, and it's full three and two. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. The 3-2 pitch. Fastball got him looking two down. That's how you use your fastball, using it very effectively. Two consecutive punch outs. Maris in the box now. He's one for one so far. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch on the way. He makes contact. Line drive. Throws on to first. Side is retired. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand it. No runs yet for the Yankees. Number two hole set to get things started. And welcome to those of you just tuning in. 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Crook. First pitch on the way. That swung on, hit on the ground. And that's out number one, stepping in the bag. At the plate, their rookie first baseman. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. One out, base is empty. Spotted by Barra. First pitch inside with a fastball, ball one. Well, that pitch just took off right there and exploded out of the pitcher's hand. Kept it just a little bit inside, though. Tough pitch to hit. Good job by the hitter to lay off. And this is below the knees, ball two. Now the 2-0 pitch. And here's a fastball for a called strike, two and one. Now the two one pitch. There's a swing and a drive, deep right field. It's caught. Well, they followed the advanced scouting reports to a T. They played the outfielders back that time, and he hit it right into the teeth of the defense. And in the batter's box, it's K-Line, lined out in his last at bat. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the delivery. Hit in the air to center field. And he's there to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no one left on. Tigers three, the Yankees nothing. And Yogi Berra in the box. The first pitch. First pitch, fastball, 0-1. Well, outstanding pitching effort so far here. I mean, he's left three runners on base in this game. I mean, but he's just shutting down this lineup, and when he needs to make a pitch, he seems to always find a way to do it. Strike Called strike below the waist, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. You're Big out. swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. Well, two strikes, you have to try to fight off this pitch. You have to think away and adjust in. They went away, but he couldn't make contact.
team leaders in home runs. How'd they do it last year? Well, let's take a look at our State Farm leaderboard. Blue Jays number one, the Red Sox second, third, the Yankees, White Sox fourth, and we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. Well, this team lives and dies with the home run ball. They were one of the top teams in the league last year at hitting the ball out of the ballpark, and they seem to want to continue that in this season. They have so much power and depth throughout this lineup that every one of these guys can hurt you. Oh, one fastball and a called strike. Well, the hitter lays off this pitch, realizing you can't do much when you get that kind of four-seam fastball down and away. It's tough to hit. He deals, hit hard on the ground towards third. Oh. Two away. And we're going to see Boggs here. 0 oh for 1 thus far. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Off the plate with a fastball and it's 1-0. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. That's one of those pitches you throw it out there and you hope the hitter chases it. He laid off, though. Now it's a battle. Oh. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Fastball misses badly. He's in danger of losing him. No doubt about that one in a 3-1 count. Boy, he wishes he had the green light right there. He throws it right down the middle. That's a pitch he could have driven. Three one on the way. Ball four, he walked him. He went with a fastball, the three ball count, which is what you want to do most often. He just couldn't throw a strike. That brings up Derek Jeter. For him, top five in the league in runs scored a year ago. Two outs and a man on first. First pitch to Jeter. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. A big hitter in this big lineup and a guy that counted on all year last year and who really delivered. Gave them what they needed, Gary, and obviously looking for him to do it again. Here it comes. And Jeter watches that one go by. The count is even. Ball inside, two and one now. There's a swing, line drive, center field. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Terrific opportunity right now for the Yankees. Well, all pitchers are taught to keep the ball down in the strike zone. Not too many hitters can go down and get one right there in that particular spot. But this guy absolutely loves that pitch. That's why he's on base. Two men on and two men out. 
Now the first pitch. Fastball runs inside. 1-0. Here's the 1-0. And he looks at a fastball in there. 1-1. One one. Watches that fastball go by, and now he's at 1-2. and well, When you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. Inside for a ball, we're even at two. Well, a good pitch right there. He tried to get one in on his hands, but he just missed, though, in off the plate. Great pitch. Oh. Fastball is low that time. The count runs full. Oh, it's a great fastball right there down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Full count pitch. Ball four. Lost him. Ball four. Potential tying run is on. Well, you know the pitcher's really tired right now, and you have to think that his confidence is a little bit shaken. That long at bat right there, he had a chance to put the hitter away, and now he has to go from the stretch to try to keep this inning from getting out of hand. Bases are loaded with two down. The pitch. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. That one's grabbed. Side retired. So they pick up no runs. One hit and strand a couple. Tigers holding on to the edge. The 5 6 7 hitters coming up. Six slide up at the plate again. He's going to get us started here in the sixth. He delivers. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0-1. Well, the hitter didn't like that one, but that's a strike. He hit the inside corner up in the zone. Got to swing the bat. Here's the pitch. That's upstairs for a ball. 1-1. Swinging and a miss, and it's now one and two. One two pitch coming. Fastball that's well off the plate, two and two. And he gets under that one. Able to make the grab on that one. One out. Well, Gary, you know, he's settling into a groove right here. And that's six in a row that he set down. Number three slot up again here. Single and scored his last time around. One out, nobody on. And here's the first one. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. That's the second out. And Trammell's batting. Had an RBI single his last time to the plate. Base is empty with two outs. First pitch. Boy, he scorched that one. That was right over the mound. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. Well, that was a quick inning right there. Seven pitches. And the Yankees. It'll be their turn coming up. Gehrig up now. Struck out swinging his last time up. Ball. 
That's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Uh, you're talking about making a pitch when you need to make a pitch. You know, he's had some base runners on, but he's left them on, and that is the key. When you go out of the stretch, make the pitch, hit your spot, and get the big outs. And that's what he's done. 1-0 is a fastball that runs away to an 0. The pitch. Big swing and a miss as his eyes lit up on that pitch for the 2 1 count. The 2 1. Good wood hits it right back up through the pitcher. And it's through. That's a base hit. Well, that's the start this team needed. Get that first guy in the inning up, get him on base, and let's see if they can bring him around to score. Mantle settling in. Called out on strikes in his last appearance. Runner on first. And the first pitch. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. Here's the pitch. This is that fastball already 0-2. Tries to ring him up with the fastball away, but it's 1-2. and two. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. And he can't paint that low inside corner. We're even at two. You're Strike three called on the fastball. What a way. Well, here uh, late in the ball game, obviously that is a very big out. That's a huge out, and I tell you, the pitcher came through in the clutch. He needed a strikeout, and he got it. Maris at the plate, one for two in the ball game. One out, man on first. Here's the first pitch. Can't get him to chase that one outside. Ball one. At the belt, the 1-0. Swung off, hit well, out there to deep left center field, back at the wall. Gone, a two-run homer. Now they're really making strides to come back there within one. The home run coming with a runner on, now two RBIs on one swing. Let's see how the WPA graph looks after that. Now you can see the pitch on the outside part of the plate. He makes the adjustment, drives the ball, lets it get deeper into the zone. Good piece of hitting. He'd have been happy just to pick up the base hit, but instead, not only a base hit, but a couple of RBIs. A great job by the Yankees to cut down this lead. Now they need more offense to try to overtake them. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. Boy, you talk about big-time homers, Steve. That was one right there, and then they're not done maybe in this inning. Well, you know what? You've got the pitcher rattled. This is the time to get him. You've got him on the ropes. Now's the time to capitalize. Missed badly with a the fastball there, one and one. Well, the starting pitcher right now is over 80 pitches, and this is a time when the manager and the pitching coach have to keep an eye and see if his velocity is dropping. If it is, you might want to think about getting him out. One Strike two. two with a swing and a miss on a fastball. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. Taps this one foul off to the left. The one-two on its way. Two. That misses the strike zone away to even things at two. 
Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Here's the pitch. Oh! Gave him a fastball that time, but it's outside. Three and two. The 3-2 pitch. Oh, that misses ball four. The potential tying run on base. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue on the pitcher's part. They're not used to throwing that many pitches in one at bat, but the hitter wins it and gets that base on balls. And in the batter's box, it's Gordon. He bounced out his last time. in the batter's box it's Gordon that walk is the tying run in this situation now he's got to look for a ground ball try to get the double play and get out of this inning hit sharply down the line and that is in there the go ahead run on board good offensive chance here well anytime you have two it's in a game it will build confidence and he's carrying it over into this game and we're going to see Boggs here blocked in his last plate appearance Runners on first and second with one out. And here's the first one. That one's drilled to short. One. Whoa, they just bungled that one. That throws to the wrong base. Uh, Derek Jeter, one of the best situational hitters in the game, up with a chance to change the outcome of this one. He was near the top of the list in the AL in crossing the plate. Two down. Runners at first and second. On the way. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. As that one go by the count is even one one pitch a sinker taken for a strike one and two well, that's textbook use of the sinker. Down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. The one-two pitch. Jeter puts this one down. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So they strike for a couple and a little bit closer. The Yankees, they are trying to will their way back into this game. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. First pitch, here it comes. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. That one goes foul. Fastball in there, called third strike. One up. We got a second now to see the four seam fastball in K Camp. 
couldn't pull the trigger. He couldn't even get it started. He came right back with another fastball, John. Well, you see him go fastball, fastball like that, you know he has a lot of confidence in that heater right now. Nobody on base, one away. Here's the first pitch. Oh. Fastball misses away, 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. He lets the 1-0 pitch go by, 1-1. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down in the zone with that four-seamer. That's off the plate low, and it's 2-1. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And it's got the play by Gordon. He's retired 10 in a row. The hitters are completely overmatched right now. He's got it all going on. Cobb batting now, rounded out last time. Two outs, bases empty. The pitch, the fastball is in there. It's 0-1. Well, when you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. Swing liner back up the middle. And that's through a base hit. Well, sometimes you don't think much of a two-out hit, but if they can continue to capitalize and push another run across, they can extend their slim lead. And Crawford's in the box. 0 for 2 thus far. A runner on first with two outs. And the first pitch. Oh. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. He's trying to steal second. Hold two. And he is safe. Just beating that throw. Here's the 2-0 pitch. In there for a strike, 2-1. and one. Come set, here's the 2-1 pitch. Fastball gets away from him there, and it's 3-1. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. Come set. The 3-1 delivery. Oh! Crawford will foul that one away. Oh! 
And here's the 3 2. Fastball called. Strike three, and the side is retired. So they pick up a hit, but leave a man at second and fail to score. Time to stretch him out here in the Bronx. And it's DiMaggio batting. He's going to get things started off for us here after the seventh inning stretch. First pitch to him. There's contact. He drove it well. That's one away. Ruth is the batter now. Last time up, flew out. Base is empty with one away. Here's the delivery. Sinker just missed. One and oh. Now Gary's still dealing with that one run differential. One out here in the seventh inning. And again, I think it's about making plays right now. And offensively, force the issue. Get somebody on base and put the pressure on the pitcher. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. As he drops back and puts it away. Well, the hitter just missed this one. He's going to want to have this one back. The left fielder able to range back and put it away. Gehrig is the batter. We'll try it again here. Just one for three thus far. Base is empty and two down. And the first pitch. Sinker misses badly. One and oh. Oh, two outs here in the seventh inning. You need to make a play behind your pitcher. He's going to pitch to contact. Somebody's got to step up, make the play, get the out, and then get back in there and see if he can score some runs and add on to your lead. And he looks at a sinker in there, one and one. Well, that's textbook use of the sinker, down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. The one-one pitch. A smash to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. It's called short work of three. Took six pitches. Tigers holding on to the edge. Number two spot in the lineup up again. He'll lead it off here. Inning number eight. Pitch on the way. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. He's at 0 2. He watched that fastball that was in there. Well, that's a hitter's pitch right there. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. He didn't swing. Swing the bat. Come on. Oh, oh tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. Swung on and ripped towards second. And it's caught the play by Gordon. That ball was hit so hard, the second baseman barely had time to react. But playing in the right spot, he gets the out. One out, base is empty. First pitch on the way. And it's fouled off. The pitch. Here's a slider that misses. One and one. And he looks at a fastball in there, and it's one and two now. A nice four-seamer right there. That one's clearly on the outside corner. He hit the spot. One-two pitch coming. And this is inside, and that hit him hard. Now, sometimes that fastball just runs in on you, and you can't get out of the way. He couldn't get out of the way there. Up again there, D.H., like Garrett, we saw that hitter get hit with the pitch right there. It's just a mechanical issue. They'll get that ironed out a little bit, but I don't think it's intentional, certainly.
One out, runner on at first. First pitch on the way. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Two away. And he'll go back to first. And the number seven batter in the box. Two for three thus far. Gary, no real speed at first base right now. I think you just let the hitter swing the bat a little bit and not distract. He's running, heading for second. And he's in there at second base. He watches this one right down the middle, one and one. Well, he's got a good four-seam fastball with good riding action to it, but he finds the heart of the plate here. Unfortunately for the hitter, he didn't swing. Two and Outside one. for a ball, and it's two and one. This guy's got a great slider, Gary. When he's got control of it and can locate it where he wants, it's almost unfair to the hitter. The 2-1 pitch, a swing and a fly ball to left center field. That's caught. Side is retired. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. Now the Yankees. This is the bottom half of the eighth. And if you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crock bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Now the first pitch. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0-1. Oh look here, I think they're going to look at anything they can. If there's an inside pitch, get hit by the pitch. Get on base, you're the tying run. If you can, lay down a bunt for a base hit. Hit one in the gap. Think about going for two. Put oh. yourself in scoring position. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. One one. A great movement on that two-seam fastball. Trying to start it on the corner. Running it off the plate, the hitter just laid off. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Well, they followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. Oh. First pitch, a sinker away, 1-0. Oh. Well, I think for the pitcher's perspective, keep the ball down. Keep it in the ballpark and keep it out of the gap. Force them to hit singles and lump hits together. Here's the 1-0. Oh. Hit sharply towards the hole. And the tying run is on. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? And Yogi Berra in the box. Runner at first with one down. And here's the first one. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. And here's the delivery. 0-1 is a sinker in there. Called strike. You throw the sinker ball to get the ground ball out. He got the called strike right there. If they swing, he's going to get his share of ground balls. Good sinker that time, but it's ruled a ball, one and two. That's a good spot to miss with that thing, just off the corner. Oh. 
I don't know how you lay off that sinker, but it's 2-2. And it goes foul. The 2-2 pitch. Popped way up there behind home plate. And he puts that one away for number two. And in the batter's box, it's Gordon. He singled his last trip. two away and the first pitch sinker swung on missed 0 and one looking for the ground ball out trying to get the hitter to roll over on it throws that sinker on the outside corner here it comes there's a swing and a liner towards first and he's on that's the go ahead run and it's up against the wall well, this guy's got a lot of speed over there at first base, and it's not going to be surprised to see him off and running to try to steal this base. Well, this is a biggie right here. A great matchup right now, Gary. Lined out in his last at bat. Two men on, two men out. He deals. Hit in the air to left center. That'll do it as they put that one away. So, no runs, two hits, and they strand two. Tigers still enjoying a lead. Latter third of the lineup coming up. And Trammell's batting. He'll start us out here in the last inning of regulation. Here's the pitch. Fastball in there for a called strike. The pitcher really rearing back and throwing. He's got everything working now, commanding the strike zone with that fastball. Oh. Missed badly with the fastball there, one and one. Now the one one pitch. Call fastball, now the count one and two. Well, he couldn't have asked for a better pitch. He likes the ball down the middle like every hitter, and he got a fastball. You got to swing the bat. The one two on its way. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. And he'll put that one away for out number one. Kell in the box. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Base is empty, one out. Here's the first pick. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Well, you see there, he tried to go on that outside corner down and away. Give the hitter a lot of credit, though. You know that's a pitch you can't hit, so don't even swing at it. When the catcher looked like he really wanted that one. Here's the 1-0. Low for a ball, and it's 2-0. Here it comes, 2-0. He watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike, 2-1. Yeah. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. It's caught. Perry settles in. Lined out last time up. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the pitch. 
A line drive toward short. And that's the third out. Peter grabs it. And a good half inning there, gone in short order in this one. Tigers three, Yankees two. Uh, Derek Jeter, one of the best situational hitters in the game, up with a chance to change the outcome of this one. He represents the potential tying run here in the bottom half of the last inning. Can he do it? Now, for the pitcher, he's got to be a little bit nervous. The last thing he wanted to do is to see one of the game's best hitters come into the play. Jones with a 1-0 delivery. Swing and a miss. Derek Jeter not making contact. It'll even up the count. you got to force him to earn it right now. I think you've got to throw strikes, Gary. No free passes. No hit by pitches. Don't pitch him inside. Throw away. You don't want to leak one inside and give up a home run. 1-1 one, one pitch. Blow it outside. Two balls, one strike. The 2-1 pitch. It's now 3-1. Derek Jeter's got the count he wanted. Well, even though you're 3-1 in the count, you still have to be patient at the plate. Make him throw a quality pitch. If he does, be ready for it. And if you're the pitcher, you better not throw anything down the middle and hope he's taking it because he can take you out of the yard. Now the 3-1 pitch. Ground ball towards second. That retires Jeter. Well, offensively right now, you've got to force the issue. You're running out of time. You've got two outs left in this game, Gary. And I think that from the managerial perspective, he's got to think about putting runners in motion if he gets them on to try to make something happen. One out, nobody on. First pitch. Ball. Plays off that one outside, 1-0. One Inside with the fastball, 2-0. Smash towards the hole. Now it's two away. Now we're counting down right here. They've got one out left in this game. And I think offensively, you're hoping for that long ball, but you've got you'll take anything. Give a base runner. Get somebody on. Ruth settles in. He's had one hit four times up. Two outs, bases empty. At the belt, Jones kicks, throws, watches a changeup go by for strike one. He sends this one in the air towards center. And it's in there, the tying run on board. Well, they get a man on here with two outs. And now, a double in the gap can tie this game. moments like this that makes you just love the game of baseball when you're looking to try to get something going to manufacture runs bringing in a guy who can run can be absolutely critical and beneficial grounded out his last time up two outs and a man on first here's the first pitch off the plate low one and oh Now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. 
In order to throw that fastball away from the hitter, you have to get great extension out in front. Nice job of pitching. And he watches one at the knees, and it's one and two. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. And that one is a fly ball. This could do it. And you just saw it, folks. That's going to be the last play of this game. Look here. The Tigers have to be satisfied with this win. A good ball game. They got the pitching and hitting they needed to get the win. So the honor is ready to be handled out. Our player of the game, a very deserving candidate. Well, great starting pitching usually leads to wins for your team. And he came through with a great one in this one. And that's basically the definition of what it takes to become the player of the game. Real good ball game. Great battle here. And the pitching, the better part of it, came away with a win. And before the game, you probably would have thought three runs might not be enough to win this game. But lo and behold, it was. Thanks for being with us today. We hope you've enjoyed 2K Sports Major League Baseball. We wrap it up. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our 2K Sports group. We'll see you soon.